Wonder Egg Priority is one of those anime that you won't know what you're watching until your second time around. It's only 13 episodes long, but for its length, it's possibly one of the most densely packed and multifaceted anime just shy of anything from Masaki Iwasa. So is Wonder Egg Priority the anime of the year, or is it too convoluted for its own good? Let's find out. Wonder Egg Priority is a well-planned anime original from the mind of the accomplished screenwriter Shinji Nojima, who's responsible for several movies and Japanese drama series. I don't know anything about J-drama, so I'll just display his works on screen. Not only do I think it's an amazing idea to get outside writers making anime stories, but they got someone who apparently knows what he's doing. Wonder Egg Priority follows Ai, a shy, depressed, and traumatized teenager who keeps herself locked up in a room after a tragic event involving her best friend. One day, in what appears to be a fever dream, she's given a mysterious egg containing another teenage girl who's hunted by monsters. Under the impression that she can earn the opportunity to save her best friend, she repeats the process of breaking eggs and fighting monsters while gradually becoming stronger and making new friends along the way. Fans of Wonder Egg may cringe at my vague description, but I think it's most most important to discuss what the show does and how it performs instead of giving a completely accurate description which would spoil everything. After all, one of the biggest mysteries here is what am I watching? So what exactly does Wonder Egg do? I'd say it's a fairly even blend between drama, mystery, and action, but the experience is much more complex than the genres alone would imply. Considering its narrative density, you'd expect the show to be at least 24 episodes, but it's only 13. In order to accomplish this, they had to sacrifice something, and in my opinion, it was the pacing. Although the plot blazes by, it actually works in the anime's favor due to its heavy mystery elements. Overclocking pacing isn't as easy as it sounds, because good characters require time. Despite screen time being a commodity, Wonder Egg manages to host a masterclass of characterization and development. The anime mostly relies upon indirect characterization, but will utilize direct exposition when necessary. Though deciphering the reasoning behind a certain character's actions or disposition may leave you longing for context, the answers are gradually revealed, leaving numerous emotional experiences in its wake. In addition to its streamlined approach to characterization, I felt their development occurred smoothly despite time constraints. Wonder Egg Priority tastefully and respectfully displays a plethora of serious issues including depression, suicide, self-harm, bullying, and sexuality issues just to name a few. Our protagonists undergo their development in two ways, fighting and talking about the problems. It temporarily slows everything down to a nice pace, emulating the cathartic atmosphere appreciated within Slice of Life anime. These moments are also necessary as it is a momentary counterbalance to the show's fast pacing. On the flip side, the characters also undergo development through combat in a similar nature to shonen anime where the hero inadvertently fights his way to achieving self-realization. The fights themselves are fantastical as I and our friends square off against humanoid creatures with exaggerated features. Some may argue that their appearances are symbolic, but when I see a giant four-titted monster lactating paint everywhere, I take my analytical glasses off. Bizarre features aside, their motives do have a deeper meaning, but that would be a spoiler. While I respect their artistic integrity and risk-taking, I can't help but feel that everything in the anime would have been improved if the narrative were tweaked in a way that excluded the fights. Although they have a purpose and were executed well, Wonder Egg sometimes felt like three separate anime combined. I'd watch and thoroughly enjoy a 13-episode drama or mystery anime that contain the same elements, but I can't say the same thing about the action. I love action in my anime, but these fights were just not doing it for me. In a spoiler-free review, discussing mystery elements is like walking on eggshells. Wonder eggshells. Okay, I'll stop. Seriously though, the mystery elements were properly implemented, gradually building layers of intrigue in characters' backstories and motives, as well as everything regarding the two overseers and the eggs. Although we have to wait three months for the final episode to release, everything I've seen so far has been fairly fulfilling, and I even watched the anime twice in order to pick up more clues. I have my own predictions regarding the ending, but I'll just keep that to myself. Overall, Wonder Egg Priority technically did little wrong, however, I didn't enjoy it that much until the second half, and this is purely subjective. I liked the individual stories of the main characters and the mysteries, but the action just fell out of place, and I felt like the Egg Girls were a revolving door of undue melodrama. What makes this a difficult review is that everything makes sense on paper and in hindsight, but in execution it feels a little condensed, like there's just too much content for 13 episodes. I can understand why people like the anime, and I still recommend it. It's just not going to be for everyone. I give Wonder Egg Prime 
priority an 8 out of 10, but my personal enjoyment was around a 7, which is still a good score. I recommend waiting until mid-June to begin the anime considering its final episode airs on the 30th. Your enjoyment of that episode will rely on your memory of the series, and your enjoyment of the series will likely rely on it actually having an ending, so I recommend waiting. If you enjoyed Wonder Egg Priority, then I recommend these three anime on their basis of being mystery series with varying degrees of drama that feature a female protagonist, Haibane Renmei, Serial Experiments Lane, and Ergo Proxy. I've already uploaded spoiler-free reviews of all of these anime, though my Ergo Proxy review is really old and deserves a remake one of these days. Thanks for watching, let me know your thoughts on Wonder Egg Priority in the comments section below, share this video with your friends so that they can be informed without being spoiled. I'll see you next time with my review of Skate the Infinity and Gundam Ate the Mess Team.